The results from our first annual developer survey are in, and we're thrilled with the insights that have been uncovered. These insights may not come as a surprise to you as many recurring themes came up that Salesforce professionals are probably experiencing every day. However, they still give us clear insights into some of the most common problems and solutions that Salesforce professionals are implementing, as well as some of the lessons we can learn off the back of the results. So here we go. Overall, developers don't feel satisfied with their skill level on the Salesforce platform. Only 34% of respondents stated they were satisfied, with 43% expressing a neutral sentiment and 23% stating they were not satisfied. In addition, 28% of Salesforce developers stated that knowledge and training deficiencies were holding back their team in 2024. This probably isn't helped by the fact that 44% of people mentioned resource constraints as an additional factor of holding back their team. Although there isn't much good news in these stats, one saving grace is that the Salesforce platform seems to be stabilizing. The Lightning platform has gone through so many changes over the past 10 years or so, the Salesforce looks to now be tweaking the platform for the better, as opposed to bringing in huge sweeping changes. Trailhead is obviously the go-to learning platform for anything Salesforce, but developers may feel that the platform doesn't cater to them, especially when it comes to more senior topics. This is something we are trying to solve with our very own SF Ben developer courses, which you can check out in the description below. In the race to the top of your industry, one detail can trip you up, like the handoff of work, for example. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be this way. Work Relay, a Salesforce app by NeoStella, ensures the right work is done by the right person at the right time. No dropped batons, we promise. Team up with Work Relay today at salesforcebend.com forward slash work. One of the best aspects of the Salesforce platform is that you can do anything with it. But conversely, this can sometimes be a hindrance. If you were to get two different Salesforce consultancies to implement the same requirements into two orgs, it's very likely you'll get two completely different solutions provided. This is completely based on the individual knowledge of the consultants and what they have seen work before. If there is a skill gap issue in 2024, then there has probably been one for quite some time. This would have been further amplified by all the major platform changes such as flow and lightning migrations. This is why the front runner when we asked developers what the most challenging thing was to get right in Salesforce was dealing with existing technical debt. According to most experts, artificial intelligence is here to stay and it's bound to have such a profound impact on the global economy that it's going to increase global GDP output by 14%. Of course, this is yet to be seen, but almost all software companies, including Salesforce, are now positioning their customers for this next wave of AI-enabled technologies. But with 27% of developers worried about technical debt, 25% struggling with platform limitations and challenges, and 44% under resource constraints, are we even ready to implement this next wave of technology? I have as much optimism as the next Salesforce professional when it comes to AI, but it seems sensible to ensure the foundations of our org are secure before we look to add another layer of complex automation. DevOps has slowly been adopted in the Salesforce ecosystem over the past 10 years or so as some proponents of this movement knew there was a better way to deploy changes in the ecosystem. Although we have nothing to compare this year's data to, we were still astounded to see that 70% of Salesforce developers are using some kind of DevOps tooling, with only 23% using change sets. The majority of developers are using Salesforce developer experience and continuous integration jobs with a Git repository, followed by third-party vendors, followed lastly by the Salesforce DevOps Center. There is no doubt that the Salesforce ecosystem is becoming more competitive. With the tech industry slowing down, an increased amount of talent coupled with layoffs is creating a hyper-competitive environment. Although developers may have it better than admins, whose skills are becoming somewhat commoditized, it's still a good idea to attempt to stand out from the crowd. Some of the skills that developers felt less confident in were lightning web components and front-end development, integration with other platforms, and advanced object-oriented design patterns. Interestingly, whilst DevOps is well adopted, it seems developers aren't as confident as they could be, with one in five noting it was an area for improvement. And when you drill down into some of the more detailed statistics, only 25% of developers felt that they knew skills such as Git, Salesforce developer experience, and CLI very well, with the vast majority saying they know how to use the basic commands. Interesting, right? Salesforce contracting was big business for many years, 
As Salesforce expanded over the last 10 years from 4 billion in revenue to nearly 40 billion this year, there were a huge amount of new Salesforce projects that needed staffing. Contracting was an easy solution for this, bringing highly skilled, experienced professionals on a high daily wage, but ultimately a flexible six to 12 month contract that could be extended. However, due to the general economic climate and the expensive nature of contractors, it seems like this profession is being eroded away. Using data from the Mason Frank Salary Survey, we can see a steep decline from 11% of respondents saying they were contractors in 2019, 8% in 2022, to roughly 5% in our own survey in 2024. Although our developer survey points out a lot wrong with things in Salesforce orgs and working with the platform, we must give credit where it's due to Salesforce, as they have created an incredible platform with both low code and pro code features. The amount of changes and migrations that have taken place over the past decade have to be seen as a necessary evil, as we are now in a place where Salesforce has a fantastic platform for developers and admins alike. So much so that roughly 75% of respondents gave Salesforce a four or five star rating out of five when they were asked to rate working with the programmatic and declarative side of the platform. This is a far cry from the infamous 2015 survey from Stack Overflow that crowned Salesforce the most dreaded platform to work with. Although we may not be ready for the AI transformational wave that is coming to a Salesforce org near you, there is one AI tool that is being adopted like crazy, and that is developers using ChatGPT or tools such as GitHub Copilot to assist with coding. In fact, over 72% of our respondents are using AI tools on a semi-regular basis. They are finding that these tools increase productivity, allow you to learn faster, and provide greater efficiency in coding. 52% of respondents are concerned about security, and there is also a strong correlation between those who aren't using AI tools and those who work for larger corporations. It does show that AI can be used in your day-to-day -day role, and the vast majority see a huge boost in productivity. It may be difficult to convince your boss to start using ChatGPT to support coding if you work for a huge enterprise, However, there are plenty of people who have a big head start on using these types of tools to augment their work, and they may leave you in the dust. Find some of these insights interesting? Make sure to download the full 2024 Salesforce Ben developer survey to find out even more trends of how Salesforce developers are working in the ecosystem. You can, of course, find a link to this in the description below. Stuck on tricky topics like flow or AI? then you should check out our Sales Suspend courses. In fact, for the whole month of July, we're offering 25% off all of our courses. So there's really never been a better time to get some learning in. With courses on Flow, Apex, AI, and more, there really is something for everyone. Be sure to check them out over at courses.salesforcebend.com and we'll see you next time.